get into the human body, we have a lot of problem to detect it. This is the case that we know is the faster in terms of the presentation, 24 hours after exposure. It can affect any organ in the body as long as there is a blood supply. The bacterium does not respond to the standard antibiotics that are used for treatment of common infections. Uncovering its true identity challenges medical professionals worldwide. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. It's in our environment, it's not just people get infected by it, but it's in our environment, it's everywhere. I would say that it's a tough bacteria. It's a very, very tough bacteria. They accept that it's a tropical bacteria and we have to live with it. The killer morphs itself to look like something else. I, I think it's, I'm going to be die because you and uh, it's come to my blood, I still shock already. You get the disease first time in Thailand, you get 40% chance to die. All you have to do is to walk out onto the field and get a puncture wound or whatever, and the organism is there. Melioidosis has been um, misdiagnosed by good doctors and good laboratories. It can be transmitted through air. And that person may be critically ill within 24 hours of infection and dead within 48 hours of infection. It's even been considered as a potential bioweapon. It's like a ticking time bomb is waiting to burn.